Hi guys, welcome to Noise Reduction and Masks for Photoshop. This session I want to have a look at a, a way that we can deal with the noise in, in our images, especially in the low signal areas. Um, and we're going to use Photoshop's Noise Reduction Filter and I want to introduce you to the Inverted Layer Mask as a powerful way of having control over our filters. So the first thing we want to do is go to Layers, create another layer, then go to Filters, Noise, Reduce Noise. In the preview window you can see a before and after when you click. Let's go to the settings now. Let's set a strength of 6 or 7 depending on the image. Um, let's preserve detail about 30%. And let's go to reduce noise now. Reduce noise, maybe about 30% as well. And see how that goes for now. Leave the sharpening off. Let's go to the preview window. Left click so we can see the before and after. And just scroll around and see what kind of job this doing. It looks like it's doing a good job. Taking care of the colour noise. And, and quite smooth. So let's go with that. You, you can always experiment with the settings depending on how much noise in your image. So let's go with that for now. The next thing we want to do is create a mask for that layer. So you've got a little icon here. If you hit that, you'll create a mask. Or you could go to layers, vector masks, and a hide all will give you the same mask. At this point, we want to go back to the background. And we're going to select and copy it. So we're going to control and A to select. Control and C to copy. Now we need to get into the mask, so if we hit the Alt key and left click, it'll take us into a white empty mask. Now we want to paste the background into that mask, so we're going to hit Control and V, and that pastes the mask in, in the uh, paste the background into the mask. And um, these masks read them as grayscale, so that's why you're seeing it like that. Now. We want to protect all the highlight areas, so we need to invert this mask. So we we'll hit Control and I to invert the mask. So now everything you see that's white will get the filters, and everything that's black will be protected. So let's boost up the black. Let's open up levels, Control and L, and open up levels. And let's push up the black point right up. And just make sure that all the areas we want protected are going to be protected well. And you'll see in here you've got the white to the grey to the black. And depending on how white it is, it's, it's, it's going to depend on how much filter it's going to get, how much noise reduction in this case it's going to get. And the black will be totally protected with the grey. will get a little bit of noise reduction. And as far as noise reduction goes, that's exactly what we want. So let's just push up the white point in levels a bit. Let's make sure those whites are white. And let's go with that for now. At this point... Let's just click on the layer so we can have a look at the before and after. That's before and that's after. So we can see if we look down in, these, in the background area we want more noise reduction. It's doing a good job and it's doing a good job through these areas here. And if we go to the before and after again we can see that the stars and all the highlights, all this heavy detail area is well protected. So when you're happy with that, you can go ahead and flatten the image. So that's it for now, noise reduction and the inverted layer mask. And the inverted layer mask, get to know it well, because we're going to lose a, use it a lot um, in, in future sessions. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, it's just made you that little bit wiser.